Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Administrative Tools and Features, Part 3. Today we're going to be talking about disk management. We will also discuss some utilities that are available through the command line, and then we're going to talk about some transfer tools. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. We're going to begin by discussing the disk management tool. Now the disk management tool is available in all current versions of Microsoft's operating system. It provides a graphical user interface for managing drives on a system. It allows the user to determine the drive status, to mount drives, to extend partitions, split partitions, assign drive letters, add drives, and add arrays. In other words, it allows you to manage the disks. Now let's talk about drive status. There are several different statuses that could be there. If the status is healthy, that's great. That's what you want to see. If the status is unreadable, guess what? That indicates a failure. That's not good. If it's foreign, that means that there is a dynamic disk that has been moved from one system to another. If the status is online, that means you're ready to go. If it's online error, that's an indication that the drive is about to fail. I'd recommend doing something about that. If the status is offline, that means that the drive is currently not available to the system, and it could indicate a hardware failure. A status of missing means that the system knows about the hard drive, but can't find it. The last status, failed, is pretty self-explanatory. So what does mounting a drive mean? For those of you who are familiar with Unix or Linux, no point in discussing it. For those of you who aren't, well, it creates a logical pointer to a drive instead of assigning a drive letter. And it can be used in place of spanning a volume. Extending partitions, that's reclaiming unallocated space on a drive. Splitting partitions, well, that's just what it sounds like. It's taking one partition and making it into more than one partition. Microsoft operating systems automatically assign drive letters to new volumes. Disk management allows the user to assign a desired drive letter to the volume instead. The disk management tool makes adding a drive easy for the user through the graphical user interface. The disk management tool also makes adding an array easy. This is Microsoft's method of implementing a software-based RAID. Now let's talk about some utilities that are available through the command line. Now we're not going to be talking about the command line per se, but I should throw this statement out there, that you need to know the command line and what you can access through it. Now to get access to the command line, you can use command or CMD from a run or search box to get there. Now here are some of the utilities that are available from the command line. There's msconfig, also known as system configuration. It's a configuration utility. Then there's regedit. That's a utility that is used to edit the system registry. I do recommend care and caution when utilizing regedit as it's easy to make mistakes. Then there's services.msc. That will bring up the services utility. If you enter MMC, that will start up the Microsoft Management Console. Typing in MSTSC will engage the Microsoft Terminal Services Client. That's for remote desktop. Entering Notepad brings up, guess what, Notepad. It's a great simple text editor. If you want to engage Windows Explorer, you can type in Explorer from the command prompt. Typing in msinfo32 will bring up the system information utility. Typing in dxdiag will bring up the DirectX diagnostic tool. Now those are just some of the utilities that are available from the command prompt. Now let's talk about transfer tools. Why are the transfer tools necessary? Well, PCs do become obsolete and sometimes you want to transfer settings and files between computers. Microsoft does understand the pain, kind of, 
that is caused when transitioning from an old PC to a new one. And so they came up with some tools to help ease that pain. They originally came up with Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. That was in XP. It's a basic wizard that is used to transfer user settings and files. Because of user input, Microsoft came up with Windows Easy Transfer for Vista and newer operating systems. It's a replacement for the Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. And it supports several different methods of transfer. Uh, portable hard drives, USB flash drives, direct connection, so on and so forth. But it is still fairly basic. For the advanced user, there's the User State Migration Tool. This allows advanced users to use script to customize the transfer of files and settings between computers. And it's currently only available as a command line utility. Now that concludes this session on Administrative Tools and Features Part 3. We covered the Disk Management Tool. We discussed some utilities that are available from the command line, and we ended it on transfer tools. Now on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session, and I'm sure we'll do some more soon.